All praise to Yahweh by Shai. Yep, all praise to Yahweh by Shai. That's right. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings to you brothers out there doing the work and truth and sincerity, not wavering and in season, out of season. Uh, this is Brother Kanak. I'm Shamar. And we out here, man, to feed the feed, feed you brothers, man, because I know brothers is hungry, brothers is starving, and we come out here with spiritual chefs under the spirit of Yahweh by Shai, Shai to give you brothers non-GMO, non-preservative, non-additive food, man. This, this, the scriptures, the spiritual food, man. And we got a, we got a clip that we uh, from Dragon Ball Z that we want to show you brothers to kind of give a basis of the, the video of what, what we're talking about. And you're going to soon see and realize through the spirit, hopefully, that we can edify you brothers, man, and things that we have to do in this truth, man. All right? So check check the video out if you want to give kind of a backdrop of the, what the video is. Yeah. It's basically... You showing that that you have to it, you have to fight to tap into that energy. That's right. It doesn't. It's not something that just comes to you, because like in the video clip, it's a Dragon Ball Z one. Where he's trying to go Super Saiyan two or whatever. So if you watch anybody that watches it, you know they on the show. It makes it basically it's a, it's a difficult thing to go to that level because you're pushing your body to its limits, and as far as in that sense. But with, as far as the truth, you have to push yourself. You can't just get level up like we saying. You can't level up in the spirit if you're just sitting there waiting for. Something to come hit you like some just, knowledge just gonna hit you out of nowhere right. You have to dig inside yourself and really That's right. really get go go hard for it. That's you right. have to you have to cook for it That's You right. have to really sit sit down and take it takes time and hard work and discipline right. like the clip gonna show That's right. So you brothers check out the clip and we'll be back. Gohan's power has grown far beyond mine When we were training in the hyperbolic time chamber, I knew he had hidden strengths but I never knew he would ascend to this level. Each time we trained, his energy level increased and I saw his fighting techniques improve. It wasn't long before he was as good as me. Even when I knew he couldn't take any more, he refused to give up. <laughs> Let's call it a day. We practiced for 20 hours already. Come on, Gohan, I think it's time for a break. <laughs> Wait, Dad! Let's keep going! Watching Gohan that day, I realized that there were hidden depths to his power I would never even begin to fathom. And that's when I knew, if anyone was going to have a chance at beating Cell, it would be him. I'm proud of you, Gohan. You've mastered your powers. Now go show Cell what you're made of. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved. Study to show thyself approved, man. We're going to bring it in with the first scripture because yeah. Jake don't like to study, man. We're looking for spiritual power-ups, man. That's what we're looking for. And how do you get a spiritual power-up? It's something with Yahweh Shai, which is the scriptures, and you have to study. That's the basis of what, everything you have to do in life. You have to study. You have to put in the hard work. Yep. And Jake does not want to put in the hard work. So we're here today to say, put in the hard work. Go ahead, I. Right. Yep. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high. Unto the most high, not unto men. So if we're searching for spiritual power-ups, basically going to that next level, you know, because it's this different level of demons that you got to conquer in battle, right? It's different plat, And you might hit a plateau. You got to do something extra. You got to go. You got to pray to the most high. Pray fast. Stay in these scriptures to get a spiritual power-up, man, not unto men. To seem like you have all this knowledge. That's what these niggas in the conscious community do, man. They they study and study and, and they study all this bullshit to, to look pleasing among men like they know a lot of shit, man. But we doing it unto the most high, man. Unto the Yahweh Bashimao Shai. Because yeah. that's how we're gonna get our salvation. 
Go ahead, Doc. Yeah. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Needeth not to be ashamed. Go ahead. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the, the word of truth. So with all that getting, you got to get understanding and you have to break the scriptures down the right way because you can be well learned in something. You can even be well learned in the scriptures, the history. Esau is good at that, right? But he doesn't know how to rightly divide the word of truth, man. And that's what we hear today, man, to rightly divide the word of truth and to edify brothers, man, and lift brothers' spirits up. Telling them that you got to get a spiritual power up, man. You got to get a boost up. You can't be content in the situation that you're in right now. You can't just be, oh, I'm, you know, I'm holding a sign at camp, so I'm good, or I, I, I hold posts. And you got to be, you got to be trying to get a spiritual uh, uh, power up from the Most High, man. Asking the Most High. But what, but what do you have to do? All right, well, let me tell you. You got to study to show thyself approved, yep. and then the knowledge and wisdom, understanding is going to come to you because that's going to be the physical manifestation of all the studying that you did, man. All the greats, man, they, they put in the hard work. How the fuck you gonna get somewhere in life and you don't put in the hard work, man? How you gonna go to, go to work, right? How you not gonna go to work and then ask for a check? It don't make no sense, all right? Ain't no sick days. There's no sick no, days, you man. You gotta work every day. Ain't no days off. Yeah, hey, hey, there's no days off, man. You gotta, you gotta be well grounded in these scriptures, man. You gotta get, you gotta dive into these scriptures, man. You can't play around. We're almost at the end of this thing and brothers is playing around. You cannot be content in the situation that you're at. Even from a brother from the outside looking in, it might seem like this brother's on a level, but man, you gotta push yourself. You gotta, you gotta dig deep like Gohan until he just passed out, until the yeah. body can't even do it no more, man. Now you gotta have a balance, you know, cause we understand that the flesh is weak, man, and the spirit is willing. You gotta have a balance, all right? You gotta, you gotta be able to balance what you're doing, but you gotta use the scriptures as the measuring stick, man. Yeah. And the main thing is just not being content where you at. That's right. Like in the video clip, he wasn't he wasn't content just stopping. He was his, already his super dad, saying. Yeah, his dad he was a super saying already. His dad said that's enough for today. He said no, I want to keep going. I want to keep going. That has to be your mentality. Like that's you, right. I know this much knowledge. No, I don't know enough knowledge. I want to get more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's right. You can never know enough because more things get revealed to you every day. Like the apostle said, if they don't have all, if they new things get revealed to them all the time. Why can't new things get revealed to you? Why do you have to just stop? They don't just stop. Living waters, man. It's flowing waters, man. That water does not stop, man. This knowledge does not stop. It's always something you can go into, man. Exactly. Like, it's always a oh, slot. Oh, go, go ahead, ahead. bro. No, slot, bro. Uh, go ahead. Nah. Feel it. <laughs> Like uh, like the Apostle Gavar said in his video, it doesn't matter how much knowledge you know. You can still go into the basics because the basics and the fundamentals is always edifying. Somebody out there will be edified by your That's point right. or your perspective. You can say you're bringing out the scripture, but the way you broke it down, a brother might like the way you put exactly. it into a certain perspective. That's right, man. And that's why we're here, man, because... We want, we want spiritual gain. It's all about getting spiritual gain. When I say spiritual power, it means spiritual gain. If you kind of get the basis of what Dragon Ball Z was, it's always, they, 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 they leveled up, right? And then they were able to conquer the, uh, the enemy. And they'd be like, damn, this dude's the strongest in the universe. But then it was always somebody else. So there's always something that you can go into, man. It's always, you always can get a spiritual level up from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. But at the same time, you got to put in the hard work. You got to do what's right. You got to do something good, man. Everything else in the world is bad. You got to do what's good. And the only thing good is the scriptures. Yep. It's the only thing good. Um, go ahead, get Baruch. Yeah, Hold right here. It's Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High. Right, when we were casted off as a people. All right, when we went into slavery, when we didn't know the Most High, when we were just being Gentiles in a, in a Gentile state of mind. Go ahead, Ot. So being returned. So being returned, returned to what? Returning to knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite. You might from, be from the tribe of Judah, or you might wake up and be like, man, I'm from the tribe of Manasseh. You understand that the Lord is coming back to save his people, okay? You understand that he was a, a so-called black man. You get the, the, the tribes, you get the breakdowns. Go ahead, Ot. Seek him 10 times more. You gotta seek him 10 times more that you know this information. And even knowing this information, we know that we're in the last days, right? We're, we're not, we're, we're not, we don't have 50 years. We don't have 10, 20 years, man. It's right now, man, that in time, the prophecies are picking up, man. We see the chip is right around the corner. We see all the friction in the Middle East, wars and rumors of wars, okay? Earthquakes in diverse places. So how much more do you have to be trying to dig deep in that script? And I know I'm being animated, but you know, the, the fire burns inside of you because we're like, man, this is all that we have, that we don't have anything else in this world. Like I reflect back on my life and I say, man, what do I have? I, I had I had to give up all this shit in the world because I understand it doesn't matter, man. None of that shit matters, man. The scriptures and the brotherhood is all that I have. How much more did I I have to, I have to be beneficial to it, man? I can't be stagnant 
Cause I gotta help this brother out, man. That's the that's the type of mind frame that you should be in. You shouldn't be in a comfortable, you know. Oh, I know the truth. You know, I'm not going off. You know, I don't I don't go to clubs. You know, you know, I'm not out being a drunkard. You know, I'm just gonna play my position, man. Yeah, there's a time to play your position, but it's also the time to level up in the scriptures for Yahu for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I got a precept. Go ahead, go ahead come. On. It's Philippians three and eight. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. I the loss of all, bro. We lost it all, man. Jake, the, the the Lord. When you look in the other brothers' testimony, the Lord brought took these brothers out of high positions in the so-called society, or almost getting ready to make it, man. We had to count all things lost in this kingdom for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. For the for the, the betterment of Israel, not for your own vain glory, man. Yep. The loss of women, the loss of cars, the loss of homes, the loss of being having power in this society. We don't have none of that, man. We don't have it. This is the only thing that we have. But you know, we count all that shit dung, man. This, this, that shit is nothing when you look at it, man. To the glory that's gonna be re rebuilding us, man. The kingdom that we're gonna inherit. If you can, if, if that you finish, you can get Romans the eight, eight chapter. Go ahead, you can finish that. Okay. <clears throat> For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win shit, Yahweh man. Shai. Shit. That we may win Yahweh Shai, man, because you have to look at it like this. Yahweh Shai did it. Yahweh Shai gave up everything, all right, for, for the nation, for the elect. Why can't you do it, man? If you understand reincarnation, you know you come back, man. Yahweh Shai did it. So how much more is being servants of Yahweh Shai, the servant is not above his master, man. We got to do what the, what the master have taught us. From the beginning, and we understand that. Go ahead. It's a, yeah, it's the spirit you said that. It just made me think how um, how the apostle said you, you have to look at Yahweh Shai's life as an example. As an example. When he was on the earth, was he just enjoying his fucking life, just having fun, living it up, focused on getting bitches, getting riches, and getting cars and everything? No, he was focused on doing one thing. His main, what he came here to do. He had he had to go through everything man. that the Lord told him to do, and, man, and he didn't stray away from that path. I guess heavy when you when you when you when you go in the scriptures and you and you read about Yahweh Shai, man, you gotta envision that, man. That's a heavy spirit that the Lord had to have on him because it's not like he wasn't susceptible to all these things, like he didn't yep. have these temptations, man. That's the reason why he was so great because he had all these temptations, but he conquered he conquered sin, man. Yep. He wasn't out there chasing bitches or, try, like you said, trying to get cars or trying to build up in society, man. He made himself low. He made himself a little lower than the angels, man. And he's the, he's the creator of the whole universe, man. To be by people. And he's the creator of the whole, he created your ass, man. And he went and he took a low, a low level, man. He took a, a low, a base level, man, to, to bring back, the, to bring back the, the nation of Israel back to Yahweh, man. That was his job. And his father gave him a job and he conquered the job, man. And he finished the job. And Yahweh gave gave a job to Yahweh Shai, which in turn Yahweh Shai gave to us, man. And we gotta do the same thing. You're not gonna, you're not gonna basically, you're not gonna win in this society, man. You're not gonna have the women that you want. You're not gonna have the cars that you want. You gotta understand this. You gotta you gotta take that lowly, man. But the most high he is gonna give you some things, man. He's not gonna sit sit here and, and leave you stranded out there, man. But but chiefly, man, you gotta you gotta dig deep. And act for the most high to give you them spiritual gains, man, and spiritual power-ups. Yeah. We're not here to enjoy our lives. Because this, is, this isn't our rest. We, we're here to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like the scriptures say, that's the whole duty is to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the whole duty, man. We ain't here. Our whole duty isn't to serve ourselves. Because that's basically what you're doing when you're trying to please the flesh. That's serving yourself. You know, what is that? Is that anything profitable for anyone else? When you just go out here chasing hoes or you worried about getting money, you worried about everything that applies to you. Who else does it apply to? Does it apply to anybody else? Look, man. Slack, bro. Oh, go go ahead. ahead. Man, look. Jake is not making it in this society, man. Stop, stop that shit, man. Hey, look, man. Get these scriptures, man. Ask the Most High for spiritual power-ups, man. Spiritual gains. Because you're not going to get anything in this society. You're not going to get what you want in society. If you can get is it, uh, Roman. Yeah, cunning. If you get Roman. Because really, man, none of this shit. This is all bullshit, man. This 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 is this whole world is just the matrix, man. All just reloaded, man. No, nothing's going to compare to what we got. Go ahead, bro. What we're going to get through the spirit. Go ahead, bro. Hey, and if I can say this real quick about the what you said about the matrix, on the matrix, once Neo got unplugged, what did he realize? Everything that you see 
It isn't. It's temporal and it's not real. It's bullshit, man. Well, like in the movie, he's well, like like uh, Morpheus said, "What is reality? This isn't reality because this is this not yeah, gonna this be here forever. Yeah, this shit is not reality. This is temporal. Like, well, I will get after this one. Cun, but cun, cun, bro, <laughs> cun. Go yeah. hey, hit it, bro. <laughs> Romans, this Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time. The sufferings of this present time, man. What are some of the sufferings that an uh, Israelite, especially waking up to the knowledge, will go through? Not having the women or the access to women that you want. Not having the money or the access to the money that you want. Not having the houses. Not having the cars. Not having the power. Not having anything at your disposal, but looked on as filth of this world, man. And that's depressing, man. That's depressing as hell. Like to wake up and be like, damn, to the world, I am nothing. I am fucking nothing. I'm a piece of shit. My family want to kill me. My friends don't like me. My employee just put up with my ass, but he want to fire me only to the spirit of the Lord that I'm still working. The bitch that I really, really want, she fucking with a lane. You be like, God damn, you wake up depressed, bro. I, you wake up depressed, man. You got to, you got to, the woman that you in love with done slept with multiple men man did all type of unimaginable acts that i don't even want to stay on camera man and this is like mentally man that shit will get to you but like i said what do we have to do we have to go back to the scriptures go ahead bro yep for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are because it's always present man it's that's why it's not it's it's temporal it's yep. pre at this present time because this is not this is not what we were meant this is we were meant to serve the slavery and then the most high was going to give us a king it's going it's going to say it man yep. For, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed it's in us. It's not worthy to be, it's not worthy of the glory that shall be revealed in us, man. The, 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 amount, of, the amount of treasures and amount of glory and power that the Most High is going to bestow unto the nation of Israel, man. And chiefly the elect, man. The brothers out here watching this video that's out in the highways and the byways, man, trying to make your election and, and, and calling sure, man. None of this shit, man. Not having a woman or having a woman as a slut or or child support or or uh, uh, getting locked up in jail because of baby mama drama or getting locked up because of the word. You know, your car breaking down all the time. You're sickly. You got ailments. You know, you just can't seem like one step forward. It is two step back, man. None of that shit is worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be given to us in the kingdom, man. None of that. You got to remember that, man. You got it. You got to remember that. And that's why you got to go, you go harder. Brooke said you go he, now that you found the most high and you found it now go 10 times harder and act for spiritual power of man Get back up off the ground man and, and kill this shit man. Stop playing around Jake what Jake will uh, go and um, Go hard for, for wickedness man. You see these niggas in the entertainment uh, industry, you know, they go hard man These niggas in sports they go hard to be the best in, in, in vanity, you know, why not strive for the best? Um, that the most high can gave you man in, in, in these scriptures man asking the most high for spiritual game man spiritual power up man go super saiyan man go super saiyan 3 man you know jake just seemed like he's like this is all i can do man brothers got to get more confidence instilled in the self if you're not a good speaker man do more videos if you're not a good speaker do more video do a video every day man if you're not a good reader read every day read more than the average person look online what's the average person read they don't read shit read more if you want to be good at something, you got to put in the hard work. We brought the scripture out, man. Study to show thyself approved. That's in all things. The people who do the most studying, okay, have the most success. And that's in all things. Yep. And the, the Apostle Tar said it. He said everybody always questioned him. How did he get all this knowledge? He said all he do is go to Google. Sweet. It's something, it's something so right. simple, yet nobody does it. Nobody does it, man. And Jake is lazy, man. You got to get, you got to stop. Can nobody see now when I, I tell people, especially like about nutrition and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll tell you about nutrition, but I say, look, man, go, go look it up for yourself because that's going to instill another level of belief inside inside you, like in the scriptures, man. Yep. You got to search the script. I, I can tell you everything in the scriptures. The apostle can tell you everything in the scriptures, but it's not going to be as solidified and concrete as if you go and you search it for yourself. And Jake don't want to do that, man. He don't want he don't want to be on a high. He wants to be on a high level, but he doesn't want to put in the work. He does not want to put in the work, man. He doesn't want to do it. You want to be my fucking spoon fed. You want to be spoon fed. You want to be spoon fed. The people in the gym, they want to be spoon fed the games, man. They actually don't want to fucking put in the work. They don't want to do the nutrition. They don't want to do the extra sets. They don't want to get to sleep. They don't want to do that. And the same thing according to the scriptures. They want to be on this high level cutting demons. Well, it's not all about that. You want to be on this high level, but then you don't want to put in the work. 
Yep. Come on, man. That does that even make ask yourself did that make sense? I'll sit back and, and I'll and I'll and I'll listen. Cause it doesn't. You gotta put in the hard work, bro. Alright. Um what scripture you have? Uh the the first second Corinthians four and eighteen. I right, things temple. Cun cun. Uh second Corinthians four and eighteen. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Right. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go into it. Oh, oh, oh we're going to. It. Yeah. So the, the things that we see see are temporal, and the scriptures tell us in um, the Hebrews, faith is the evidence is believing in things that you can't see. So the only reason that you would believe that this is it. Is because you don't have any faith. You don't have any faith. That's just the only That's conclusion right. you can come to based off the scriptures. Because right. faith is believing on things that you can't see. Because this isn't for we based off the scriptures, we know that this isn't our place of rest. So what 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 can we look forward to? How could it? How could this please look at ask yourself how could this place be rest, man? How the fuck can America be is this all is this is this what it is? Uh, 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 a woman that's trash that's been slept with many men, women, dogs, animals, her, toys, plastic. Cucumbers, bananas, you know, this shit that really happens. A car, a beat up car, a, a nigga might have a Mercedes Benz, a 2012 Mercedes Benz, he thinks he's winning. If this is it, man, look around, man. This is not it, man. The so called white man over you. It's not it. Because niggas don't got vision, man. You gotta have vision, you gotta believe. Number one, you gotta have the gift of faith from the most high. That's first and foremost. But at the same time, man, this world is temporal and you gotta have a mindset that this shit is gonna get wiped away by thermonuclear fire. And a lot of bros, you can tell in the spirit, they not in that spirit. They in the spirit of like, it, America's cool, man. You gotta get you gotta get out of that spirit. That's a demon. You gotta pray that demon get off you, man. The thinking that America is cool, it doesn't matter, you know, I can be here another 20 years. Yeah. It's cool, I just have a job, you know. It's cool, you know, I can do this, it's nothing. You gotta get that off, because you gotta understand this is all temporal. Yeah, you're supposed to seek first the kingdom, because that's the only thing to look forward to. So that's the, what you, the only thing to look forward to. That's right. Oh, is, that, is that it? Yeah, that uh, was it. On. Get um Proverbs 3, 13. Yeah, because yeah. man, we gotta, you gotta seek after, the, when we talk about these spiritual powers, man, seeking after wisdom, man. That's what you gotta seek after, man. That's, that's what you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta love to get wisdom, man. The apostles, they love to get wisdom, man. They always looking something up, man. You gotta be in the spirit of the apostles, man. Seeking knowledge at all times. Trying to, they, they're getting spiritual power-ups every day, man. You should be thinking about a spiritual power-up every single day. You should be about thinking about going Super Saiyan, going past Super Saiyan, going past Super Saiyan 3, man. Going to another level, man, all for the sake of the election's sake, man. Like Paul, man, Paul was doing this for the Israel, man. He was doing it because Yahweh Shai told him to do it, and he had the passion to teach the brethren, man, the, the Yasha Allah, you know, the Allah, the, um, the Akiyam. Yeah, plenty of prophets in the scriptures they didn't feel like living they feel like dying because that's, right. that's how bad this society is it makes you want to just just give up the ghosts but they knew that what they had to do they had they had a job to do now's the only reason that they did what they had to do that's right you got to be you got to think about it like this is an elite force man not, not everybody can do this man yeah not everybody can do this man you got to be you got to be proud of yourself man not proud in the sense of like oh i got this knowledge but you got to be like man i'm you know i'm part of something great man i got to stick in i got to i got to really push myself cuz the the, the 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 inheritance that we're going to that i'm about to that I possibly can receive is going to be it's going to be crazy man the 144,000 you got to understand that's under that's under you how shy man you understand that the glory that you're gonna receive, you gotta be like, man, we part of the elite force. That's what the Most High is building up. He's building up the elite force, man. And yeah. you gotta, you gotta really think about this, man. You gotta meditate on it. Like that, um, like the quote in Spider-Man, like it's, it applies. Like he said, with great power comes great responsibility. We're going to receive great power, so you should be learning that responsibility right now. As far as learning how to conduct yourself, how to have your body under subjection, doing what you're supposed to do. Controlling, fighting, ha learning how to fight against Satan. Don't let them just conquer you. Don't just give up. Just roll over your back and they just, like a dog do when they in trouble, they just roll on their back and give up. Don't even run. That's right. You can't just do that shit. You gotta, man, fight that shit. Why give up so easily? You're not, that's not what a soldier do. You're not finna just take the easy route out. You're supposed to be a soldier of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you're supposed to go hard. They don't wanna, they don't, they don't go, um, they don't go soft, they go hard. That's right. That's right. Yeah, this is Proverbs 3 and 13. 
Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, man. What wisdom? It's talking about these scriptures, man. That's the wisdom. Happy is the man, man. We're elated up here, man. I'm, I'm happy. You get down in the spirit because of the condition of the flesh, but man, in the yep. spirit, you just like, you like your body, you like your, your spirit want to jump out of your body. You, you that happy, man. You be like, man, they don't even know what's gonna happen to you. The Esau don't even know. The other nations don't know. These niggas just do not know. They don't understand the glory that we're gonna receive. It's, it's all right here in the book. They reading the same book I'm reading, but they don't get it, man. You gotta be happy about that, that the Lord woke you up to this knowledge. Go ahead, bro. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. So with wisdom that you're getting, you gotta get understanding, man. With all that getting, get understanding. It's so great to get wisdom and understanding, man. And, and with all that wisdom and understanding, man, day by day, you're strengthening that spiritual man. Day by day, you in the gym spiritually working out, man. When you hit these scriptures, when you're looking up articles, when you're doing shows, when you when you out on the highways and byways, when you're doing live shows, you spiritually in the gym battling, man, practicing, man. Getting them power-ups, man. And, and you you like Goku and Gohan in a hyperbaric chamber just leveling up. Crazy, man. Cause apostles already gave us all this knowledge. So it's like, man, we can we can eat this knowledge. You got the we got the urine and the thurum, the internet. All you gotta do is type on the internet, man. You can just level up day by day, man. Learning something. You should be in your head. I gotta learn something day by day, man. I gotta stay in scripts day by day. If you don't have that mind frame, man, hey, man, one or two things, man, you better get that mind frame by the, from the most high or the Lord gonna kill you, man. Really? If you if you feel like you just need to be stagnant, like it's okay, you got, I got enough knowledge, I can just sit back and relax now. You know, I'm the master. It don't work that way, man. Yeah, and, re and it's no excuses, really, because they, the apostles, they gave you the cheat codes. So it's not like you gotta struggle to do shit. They told you how to find the knowledge. It's like they gave you the they gave you the path. Like you said, I don't know where to go. Head that way, and then you're gonna find your way. Right, they gave you the path. That doesn't mean it's gonna be easy, but they gave it to you, man. To the spirit, they gave you what you need to do, man. It's right there. And if you ain't got the access to the internet or anything, there's brothers around you. To, how you watching this video, number one? Yep. And then, <laughs> you got you got Starbucks by yeah, you. You got Starbucks, you got coffee shops, libraries. There's no, no excuses. There's no excuse. You can't when you when an angel come to kill your ass. You're not gonna have no excuse. You're just not because you was wa you was watching fucking love and hip hop, porn, whatever the fuck you was watching, whatever you was doing, not spiritually powering up. Yep. So with that, you got anything else you say, bro? We gonna kind of end it right with that. Oh yeah, we can end it off on that. We gonna end with that. We gonna say, hey man, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for giving Shai. us giving us this knowledge, man. And we want to and we want to give double honors to our apostles, the great millstone, our, our elders. And we want to say shalom to you brothers out there. Hopefully we was edifying, man. And we gave you this this spiritual food that you can eat up and be full with, man. Which we never gonna be. We we constantly eating, man. We constantly eating. I'm never full. We constantly eating. But through the spirit, man. Hope we was edifying to you brothers, man. Shalom. Shalom.